Hi and welcome to another exciting episode and in this one we'll be looking at how we can apply multiple CSS in JS arguments in a JavaScript mix and function using the REST operator. Now the REST operator in JavaScript allows us to collect arguments dynamically in one variable similar to how SCSS variable arguments. Now this is useful for CSS in JS when you have CSS properties like box shadow that can attach multiple shadows to a single element. Using the rest operator, we will be able to add all the shadows you want to a single argument for use in a JavaScript CSS Maxin function. Now here, these are the two box shadow effects that we have. Let's understand what exactly they are doing. So the first box shadow effect that we have over here, it has the horizontal offset of zero pixels vertical offset of 4 pixels, blur radius of 5 pixels and there's no spread radius so the default spread radius of none will be applied to it and then we have the color as hash 666. Similarly we have the second box shadow. Here the horizontal offset is set to 2 pixels, the vertical offset is set to 6 pixels and the blur radius is set to 10 pixels. Again, the spread radius is not there, so it's set to none. And the color is hash 999. Now, the first one, the first box shadow effect that we have over here, this creates a blurred shadow with a horizontal offset of 0 pixels, a vertical offset of 4 pixels, a blur radius of 5 pixels, and a color 666. And the second box shadow that we have. This creates a less blurred shadow with a horizontal offset of 2 pixels, a vertical offset of 6 pixels and a blur radius of 10 pixels with a color 999. Now remember when multiple box shadows are applied they are separated by comma. In our case the two box shadows are applied to the same element. The order of the box shadows matters as the first one specified will be on top. So now we know what exactly we are doing over here as far as box shadow is concerned. The next thing that we will be exploring is within our mixins how this box shadow is declared. So here in our mixins you can see that we have this box shadow and here we are using the rest operator. So when you, we are saying rest operator how we say that this is a rest operator. The reason behind that is it is prefixed with three dots before the argument. Now REST operator in JavaScript works exactly the same way like variable arguments in SAS. The interesting part is how we use the shadows array. So JavaScript has this feature which is known as coercion and using this REST operator the shadows array that we will be creating will be treated as a template string. So if we use a variable inside of a template string which is not a string, JavaScript will always try to coerce this variable to a string. So in our case, the result of coercion is a string where red and green is comma separated. And that's what we are passing over here as shadows. And now you can see the output in the browser.